Ah, the summer bee continues to soak up the summer season. It's a Friday evening tradition this time of year for us. This week we're heading to Haddonfield, the perfect spot to stroll the shops or sit down for a bite to eat. That's where CBS Philadelphia's Nikki Dementory is right now, and hopefully she's had a chance to do both. Hey, Nikki. Yuki, we definitely have done the shopping part. We're getting ready to do some of the eating part in a little bit. It is a glorious afternoon and evening here on Kings Highway in Haddonfield. We've been here throughout the afternoon. As you said, the summer sidewalk sale is in full bloom right now. It's going to go all the way through the weekend. There's tons of restaurants and shops here. But that's not the only thing that's happening in Haddonfield. There's also a famous dinosaur, and our Ryan Hughes has all the details about Hattie. Eight feet tall and 18 feet long, it's become a focal point and a central landmark in the heart of Haddonfield. It is one of the most amazing stories historically in our very historic town. For more than 20 years, the Hadrosaurus foci bronze sculpture, nicknamed Hattie, has been standing near King's Highway thanks to a big community effort. But the significance of this dinosaur dates back to 1858, when local historian Doug Rauschenberger says bones were unearthed from a farm in Haddonfield. This is the site on Maple Avenue where the discovery was made. It's been designated a national historic landmark, and it attracts people from all around the world. This is the first nearly complete dinosaur skeleton that was ever found in the world. It's really special to the borough, but really it's special to the entire world of paleontology. After excavation, the bones were taken to the Academy of Natural Sciences of Drexel University in Philadelphia. And in 1868, the Academy became the first place in the world where people could see a melted dinosaur on display. There were lines outside the door going around the block, and we actually had to start charging admission. It was the first time a dinosaur skeleton was mounted, and Hadrosaurus is still the most complete dinosaur ever collected on the east coast of the United States. The dinosaur remained on display until the 1930s. This is a humerus here. But now the ancient animal's original skeleton and bones are kept inside a locked, climate-controlled room upstairs in the museum. Mainly the collection is stored up here for scientific use. A few weeks ago, Hadrosaurus foci made a return to Dinosaur Hall at the Academy. The skeleton was recreated in 2008, but it's been in storage for years. But recently, Hattie was restored and now stands proudly again, representing both the museums and Haddonfield's place in history. This is something special. It's really prehistory history, so uh, it's something we really come to celebrate and love. A local landmark marking the history of dinosaur discovery. In Haddonfield, Ryan Hughes, CBS News, Philadelphia. As Ryan just showed you, and if you've ever spent any time here in Haddonfield, you know Hattie is a fan favorite. We've been seeing people all afternoon come and visit, throw some coins in the pond as well. And we're going to be a little corny here for a second. It's a dino mite summer over at the Academy of Natural Sciences. The museum is going to host its next dinosaur day. That's going to be on August 20th. Make sure you circle your calendar right now. There's going to be a lot of fun activities and programming all planned at the museum. And of course, Hattie is going to be here in Haddonfield, so come on and visit Hattie. Hey, Nikki, if I said dynamite, like dynamite, would you know where that came from? Dynamite. Would you know? No. I didn't but I think like so. it. I, I didn't think so. <laughs> it's never mind. We'll have to Google it. It's okay. JJ Walker. It's okay. Never mind. After we'll talk after. Okay, we will. I'll tell you. <laughs> Thanks, Nick.